Hi. Uh, good morning. I am Dr. N.V. Dandapani, M.E.C. Kwaimuthur. Uh, today, uh, I would like to share with you the most important uh, topic called the vehicle chassis design. Before going to discussing that, I'll give uh, uh, what is it, what exactly the meaning of chassis. Mainly, the chassis is a load carrying member for any automotive vehicles or automobiles. Right. So it may be like on road vehicles or off road vehicles. Correct. Uh, this chassis is the backbone of all other systems. Say, for example, if we take automotive vehicles, the vehicle which consists of many systems like radiator, engine, propeller shaft and the differential unit, even cabin, passengers and so on. There are many systems are there. Almost all the uh, whatever I told the uh, mechanical systems or electrical systems which will be located with respect to certain locations. So based on that, uh, the design should be optimized and moreover all the uh, like systems should be located and mounted on one particular structure. So that structure is called it as chassis. So mostly uh, whenever uh, the systems like radiator, engine, alternators, uh, sorry, uh, propeller shaft and differential unit with axle, all those things uh, which will be uh, located unmounted in the rail structure or frame structure. So this entire unit is called it as powertrain unit. So the, the entire powertrain unit should be located or mounted in the main chassis, right? So that is called it as chassis design because without chassis, this vehicle will not complete it and moreover the chassis only will carry the entire system and the vehicle is moving from one place to the next place. Okay, so in this video, I would like to share with you like uh, what are the important consideration while doing the vehicle chassis design, correct? So the, the first important uh, uh, design is, <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, for the first important uh, concept is initially if you want to uh, arrive the chassis shape and size, before that uh, initially we need to locate the whatever the systems uh, it is already established like uh, transmission or uh, uh, that entire powertrain unit. So this will be located with respect to certain locations that we need to decide first. Okay, this will be based on the center of gravity or center. Already we studied in engineering, uh, uh, mechanical engineering. Correct. So once you've uh, decided the uh, location of all the systems, then the entire system should be come and sit on the chassis. Correct. Uh, so this chassis will be. Uh, we have to do the freehand sketch for the shape and size of the chassis. Once we have to get the shape and size of the chassis, then we can do for 3D modeling uh, for easy feasibility and visibility of your chassis. Then location also we can finalize it where we have to fix that. Because the chassis will be located uh, like uh, uh, between uh, uh, like uh, uh, vehicle, I mean wheel base and wheel track is more important because wheel base and wheel track is the first one. At the top of the wheels, the vehicle chassis will be come and sit, right? Uh, so in that case, the consideration should be first is location, then center of gravity. After completion of the, this, I mean after completion of this particular parameters, then we have to consider for uh, like uh, shape and size of the chassis. But shape, generally we have like rectangular shape, uh, uh, C channel shapes and uh, L, L channels, Z sections, I sections, all those things. So depends upon the load, uh, like bending load or torsion load or sometimes uh, both the combined bending and torsion load will also acting on the chassis, correct. So once uh, if uh, you distributed the load on the chassis, then what will happen if you apply the load then maybe this will take place in the bending or it will take in the torsional because when the bending will be takes place once uh, say for example if you if you can assume like uh, the vehicle is standing in a static case if when the load is applied what happen naturally the bending will be takes place towards the downward direction so by using the bending equation we need to calculate 
how much is the maximum bending moment and how much is the stress deformations all those things when we go for torsional load suppose say for example the same vehicle when it is moving towards uh, like a straight line and when it takes the left turn or the right turn what will happen one side of the chassis i mean the left side of the chassis will be symmetrical to the right side of the chassis then only the weight distribution will be equally distributed both left side and right side so suppose say for example when the vehicle is turned left turn what will happen the right side load entire load will be transferred towards the left side how it is transferring through the cross members each and every chassis definitely there should be a cross section is required so this cross section what will happen is when the vehicle is left turn taking left turn or taking right turn the load will be transferred from left side to right side or right side to left side through the torque tube or the cross members like say for example if you take the ladder chassis ladder chassis we have only two rail structure in between there are many number of cross members so this cross members mainly used for transferring the load from one left side to right side or right side to left side okay so the most important uh, parameter is we need to calculate section modulus and moment of inertia particularly for section modulus for what purpose section modulus we have to calculate so section modulus is the most important parameter for designing the chassis uh, each and every channel section it is having its own uh, uh, like uh, uh, section of uh, uh, like uh, uh, what is what i call it as uh, section modulus correct so the section modulus when we calculate uh, after applying this whatever the values are de derived from the bending equation or torsion equations if you apply the load then finally we need to calculate the factor of safety if the factor of safety is getting safer design then that's fine we can give the uh, chassis design to the manufacturing department if we need to do the modification on the chassis what we have to do is we should consider where the maximum deformation will be takes place and where the maximum bending will be takes place and which particular location cs this is maximum all those things how we can get it these values uh, once if you uh, uh, get the cad model from the uh, like a cad software we need to do the fem analysis right by using fem software we can get the uh, the maximum bending moment and the torsional deformation total deformation all those things including principal stresses correct so based on those values we can arrived from the fem software then uh, uh, we need to do the modification particularly which particular parameter we have to change especially for section modulus suppose if you take the rectangular cross section so rectangular cross section height is maybe this much and uh, width is maybe this much if you want to do the modification maybe you can expand the width or uh, uh, minimize the width or expand the height or minimize the height so based on these iterations finally we should get the best optimized design based on this one and one more important uh, uh, equations like bending and torsion equations by using these equations to arrive the shape and size of the uh, chassis uh, with respect to the bending moment and torsional or twisting moment right once if you arrive that all those parameters uh, so calculate by using manual calculation or by using software something like that then finally you can get those values if it is within the safe design because we are going to calculate the factor of safety so everything within the safety design then that's fine if suppose needs to do the modification and these are all the parameters we should consider apart from these because uh, sometimes what will happen the dynamic load like uh, when the vehicle is moving uh, then there is a dynamic uh, load which will be acting on the chassis because of the dynamic load the chassis may fail so if it goes beyond that then we need to do the dynamic simulation or dynamic analysis for finding out the stress and deformation on this particular chassis but our ultimate aim is our uh, the final chassis should be very excellent shape and size with respect to the technical parameters okay so i think uh, you may understand a uh, few uh, uh, important parameter while going to design chassis and especially for automotive vehicle designer particularly chassis and structural designer it may this video may be useful for you uh,
maybe uh, in some other topics uh, uh, like my next video we can uh, discuss on this thank you